Hey, welcome back on to Pancake World TV. This is Loic from PancakeWorld.com. Today I'm going to take you back to basics. So we're going to forget the catering for a bit and go back to breaking eggs. Okay, so today the recipe is very simple. This is all about French crepes. Okay, so just in this bowl there, I put plain flour, all-purpose flour. Okay, to which I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt or a large pinch, say about 25 grams or two tablespoons of granulated sugar. If you have caster sugar, that's absolutely fine too. And I just want you to mix those three together uniformly in order for you to create a little well in the middle to receive the wet ingredients, okay? So crepes are versatile. People love them and kids will absolutely adore this recipe. Mm -hmm. Here we're gonna to move to the wet ingredients. Uh, in this bowl there, I've got two large free range eggs. Any sort of eggs will do, but free range is obviously uh, better. And I'm gonna add some melted butter to, to it, okay? So there's about 25 grams of melted butter, which I made sure was left at room temperature. So I left it to cool down for a bit before using it. So you don't want the eggs to cook up uh, straight away. Okay, okay. And then to that, I'm gonna add some milk. Um, today, I'm just adding skim milk to, to the mix. Any sort of milk will do quite obviously. Okay, I'm gonna beat the, the ingredients all together. Okay, don't beat them too much because you don't want the, pan the pancakes to fluff up too much. We're not making American pancakes. We're making French crepes as we speak. That's it. And just for the sweetness of it, I'm gonna add a, about a teaspoon worth of vanilla essence to the mix. This is it. Okay. Mix the whole lot. Okay. And when this is done, you're ready simply to pour the mix into the dry um, flour and sugar mix all together. I'm gonna pour it a little uh, bit at a time. So, cause you don't wanna go overboard with all the liquids. There you go, a little more. There. Mix, 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 and you'll end up having like a nice uh, paste as it is there. There you are, and a little more. So this mix is obviously quite yellow, as you can see, so it's full of butter. And uh, that remind uh, everyone around us that Brittany is uh, the mother of all crepes, and we like butter in Brittany, quite obviously. Okay, so I mix it all well together. Just here on my left, you can see a couple of crepes that were made this morning. If you wished to actually rewarm crepes up, uh, and we'll make them today and rewarm them next day. It's absolutely fine. Okay, you can well do that. That's it. So here, I end up having a very nice homogeneous mixture. There you are. So just a little trick there. It's very important to actually rest uh, the mix. Cover it up using a bit of cling film. Put it right there. And that will simply allow for the gluten all the flour to sort of relax a bit, okay? Okay, so this is it for me, and I'm gonna see you in a few minutes once the mix is done. Welcome back on Pancake World TV, this is Loic, and finally the mix is ready. We left it about 15, 20 minutes in the refrigerator, and the flowers, oh, the, the contents are very well rested. Okay, so here, we're ready to cook French crepes. There you go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is to give the mix a little stir to start with. It's nice and homogeneous, perfect. And I've put the pan on a medium to high heat. Okay, so I'm using a camping stove right now, but quite obviously you can use a hob, induction hob, or whatever you've got at home. Oil the pan or grease the pan with a, a, the potato trick. Okay, this is a trick from Brittany. It's a sliced potato dunk into liquid butter or veg oil. It doesn't make much difference, okay? And here I'm gonna simply scoop some mix, making sure you sort of turn the pan round and round and round to spread this mix, spread this mix absolutely everywhere, okay? It's gonna be thin, okay? We're not trying to make an American pancake. It's gonna be like a nice, thin French crepe. Okay, so to me it's got the right texture. You can see all those bubbles forming up there. Perfect. And what we're gonna try to achieve is to obtain the edges, or to get the edges all nice and good and ready to be, um, ready for the crepe to be lifted up. Okay, right there, using a heat proof spatula, 
There you go, and when you're pretty confident that you can actually flip it over. Yeah. And shall we try to flip it? Yeah? Should I give it a try? There you go. It's a very, very cooked crepe here we've got, but the pan was indeed very, very hot. So what I'm gonna do there, same again. We've done it for the galette, if you happen to watch the bonus video. The, I'm gonna actually dampen it with a little more butter. There you are, I'm giving it about 10 seconds. Okay, and right there, I'm gonna start garnishing it. And what I've got for you today is very, very simple. A few blueberries. Kids absolutely love this crepe because it's colorful, it's tasty, it's playful as well. Okay, a few blueberries, a few strawberries, right in the middle there. Make sure the heat is not too high. And then a bit of melted chocolate. And that was simply chocolate melted uh, above a bain marie uh, with a little added butter to it. Okay, so butter, butter, butter today. It's all about butter. There you are. It's nice and pretty. Right in the middle. Okay, and then what we're gonna try to do is to fold it. Okay, so there's a few ways to do that. Without burning yourself is pretty hard, I must say. But here we're gonna keep it very simple. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Half there, probably half here. This is a very dark crepe this is, but hey, the crispier the better. Okay, hopefully it's gonna stay like that. I'm gonna simply rest it right there onto the, the plate, okay? And you dish it out exactly this way. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, add a comment below, and please don't forget to subscribe.